Fall memo. Please be aware of the following students and their sensitivities. Miranda R. Peanuts, common wheat. Lucas P. Dogs, strawberries. Kimmy D. Aspirin, penicillin, rhubarb. Alexis M. Trees, grass, sunlight. Hillary M. Gift soap. Bethany M. Old skin. Jennifer K. Wool, cotton, anything yellow, anything. Cody R. Cuttlefish, handshakes, eye teeth. Dylan H. The mere mention of hornets. Brandon L. Foam pillows, roach motels. Susan W. Indians. Music. Indian music. Lauren B. Twice sealed letters. Grace J. Candles. Perfume. Party sounds over water. Woo! Last night I went to the map of the world and I have messages for you. America says it has misplaced your number. I wasn't comfortable giving it out. I said I'd let you know. Africa's birthday is this weekend. There's a party. No gifts. Just come. If you're planning to go, Greece wants to know if it can get a lift. Awkwardly, so does Turkey. <laughs> Russia wanted me to say, The worm knows the cabbage, but the worm dies first. I have no idea what that means. Do you? Japan looked really uncomfortable all night, but never spoke. Is something going on? <laughs> Ireland asked to be remembered. I sang to it for you. I didn't get to connect with Europe, but, as the French say, isn't that just too bad? <laughs> Is that everyone? Oh yes, the oceans. They asked what they always ask, and I promised I'd repeat it. Why do you never call? When are you coming home? Thank you very much. It's deeply humbling to come to San Francisco to read poetry. I have to tell you, I feel a little bit like I've gone to South America and brought my own cocaine from, <laughs> like, Pasadena, you know, and I'm going to Greece with my own statues. And this is a love poem, and it's for that state of mind, early in love, when you can't really seem to get anything out. It's a nocturne, and it's just called Knocked. I was come. You said you would wait. 1,200 miles in a day, I counted houses, then their lot. Came home to an em. Not even my sh. My green shirt. Are you wearing it now? It's hot. The house is hot. The walls, even the handle on the roof. What the f... What can anyone hope to keep if either of us could answer? No? <laughs> Once I asked myself out on a date. Lunch. Nothing big. I had to say no. It wasn't that I didn't like me. I do. Just not that way. I took it hard. That night I dialed my number ten times. It was always busy. I must have been screening my calls. Who can blame me? But it's all right now because I'm friends. <laughs> the only time it's at all awkward is in public when strange men approach me and say, excuse me, are you sisters? <laughs> Thank you. 
you very much. Fran Leibowitz says, if, you, uh, if your child never uses the word collectible as a noun, you can consider yourself a success as a parent. Um, this is for those of us who uh, failed in that regard. I, uh, it's another love poem, and I have a, the worst time writing love poems when I'm actually in love. They get very serious, and they they start they they turn into like a, a perverse kind of patriotism rather than like a nice poem, you know. Before God, I swear, you know, it's just no fun to be in love with me, you know. And so I have to like, so I try and I try, and then eventually I break through, and something like this happens. Geek love. If I had your action figure, I'd put your whole head in my mouth. Walk around that way. Your legs stuck out, arms hanging down, little gun or sword lost in my crushed carpet. I'd make people deal with it. Clerks, waiters, people in elevators, drive friends crazy over the phone with my slurping. I'd suck on your head and suck on it until the paint cracked, your eyes, mouth, and hair wore away like the vow on a candy valentine. There'd be no stopping then. How could I let anyone see who might remember you brand new, so collectible in your vintage box? If I had your action figure, I'd make you beat up all my other action figures. I'd give you their secrets, their weapons and armor while they watched. Each would be given a choice of fates, to be torn apart by a giant baby or exiled to a quiet Lego village on a lake of glass. When they didn't answer, I'd say I lied about the village. If I had your action figure, I'd pose you and pose you until it felt like you were really moving, working against my hand, saying with your body, this is how I look when I run, how I look when I fly, and this, hold up your arms, this is how I look when I block out the sun. Okay, I'm like going really fast. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more and I'm gonna sit down. Thank you very much for your attention. Wow, I just spat ice in front of you. <laughs> I was homeschooled. <laughs> okay, it's safe to say, right, everybody here has been to rehab at least once, right? Show them. <laughs> Shit, okay. Well, <laughs> I accidentally uh, took a bunch of dope for about 12 years, and uh, when, when, when that comes to an end, they, they ask that you write a list of resentments. These are usually people, uh, which I didn't understand at first, so I just wrote down the entire San Fernando Valley in 1981, and uh, none of that is in this poem. Uh, but uh, this is called 1981. I learned the word disaster meant against the stars. Learned it didn't apply to this world. The sky intended every cruelty. I watched the boy with no legs draw feet for an hour in study hall in the hall of my uncle's rest home, I heard the paper voice of a man so old he'd forgotten he was blind. When a nurse passed his door, he'd ask, turn the lights on, would you? I learned sadness like a way home from school. I got in later and later. Some nights I didn't come back at all but sat up waiting for myself. I passed geography, history, and Spanish for the last time. My cat died, my dog turned gray, my physics teacher was hit by an ambulance. But I read a book and understood it. A woman asked me to touch her body, I did. I wrote my first poem. It said people were like moons. I believed what I wrote, believed I'd done all my writing, wouldn't do any more. Then I believed a book that said the oleanders behind our house were poison. All summer I dreamed of meeting someone I could feed 
one brutal flower. Woo! Thank you so much.